Pharmaceutical CEO accused of price gouging is out on bail this morning after his arrest on unrelated fraud charges. Martin Shkreli was led away in handcuffs by FBI agents. Federal prosecutors allege he lied and stole to keep his other companies afloat. He was already a symbol of corporate greed for raising the price of a medicine by more than 50 times. Anthony Mason is here now with the extensive charges. Anthony, good morning. Good morning. The federal indictment alleges Martin Shkreli siphoned millions of dollars from a pharmaceutical company to repay investors he defrauded in two now defunct hedge funds. Over five years, they say, he built a web of lies and deceit. After pleading not guilty at the Brooklyn Federal Courthouse Thursday, Martin Shkreli put up $5 million bail for his freedom. Federal prosecutors say Shkreli ran his businesses like a Ponzi scheme. Where he used each subsequent company to pay off defrauded investors from the prior company and used the public company's assets to pay off his own personal debts. The criminal indictment alleges that between 2009 and 2014, Shkreli lost millions through bad trades with his hedge funds and looted Retrofin, a pharmaceutical company where he served as CEO to pay back disgruntled clients. Shkreli told one investor his hedge fund held $35 million in assets when it actually only had $700. I'm a capitalist. I'm trying to create a big drug company, a successful drug company, a profitable drug company. Shkreli was widely vilified in September when his company, Turing Pharmaceuticals, increased the price of a prescription medication by more than 5,000 percent, from $13.50 a pill to $750. And if there's a company that was selling a, an Aston Martin at the price of a bicycle, and we buy that company, and uh, we, ch we ask to, to charge Toyota prices, I don't think that that should be a crime. Shkreli expects to be fully vindicated, according to a spokesman, who said it is no coincidence that these charges have been filed at the same time of his high-profile controversial activities. One of the cardinal rules in the white-collar world is do not draw attention to yourself. While the charges are unrelated to his leadership at Turing Pharmaceuticals, former federal prosecutor Doug Burns says the price hike did put Screlly on the radar. When a regulatory body starts looking at one thing, they may start looking at something else. The flamboyant CEO called more attention to himself when he paid $2 million to buy the only copy of a new album by the rap group Wu-Tang Clan. The FBI said they were not aware of how he raised those funds. And on Twitter, the agency posted, quote, there was no seizure warrant, which means we didn't seize the Wu-Tang Clan album. Gail? Okay, got that, got that, Anthony.